Today I wanted to talk to you about parboiling, which is the first step of making any kind of bone broth. And this is where you bring water to the boil, you put the bones in, and all this scum rises to the surface. Now I've got a little example here where I've just boiled off some chicken giblets, heart, liver, and Vietnamese. It's called Gan Tim Me for my forgot a bit. See all this scum, all this impurity, all this gunk. I just like to call it all this crap and that's risen to the surface. And you would never ever use this liquid to try and turn it straight into a soup or a pho because it is, it's like dirty creek water. So what you need to do is dump it, get rid of it like a bad ex and start fresh so that all this all this history all this baggage isn't gonna affect your actual batch of fur and that is what's happening next door we're doing today's batch of fur in a traditional stock pot we're bringing that water to the boil and once it boils probably about five or ten minutes all this gunk is gonna rise to the surface and we're gonna dump it and that hose there is going to lead all that impurity into the drain where it belongs. Then we're going to start with fresh water, which then turns into our fur broth. And this is a very important step because it ensures your broth is clean and clear. Let's go over and take a look at where this parboiling is at. Come to think of it, parboiling is like a free car wash for your bones. It comes out the other side clean and clear. Hey everyone, I wasn't going to make this video, but since we're here, I may as well do it. I've had a lot of people ask me and email me about this one question, which is do they need to parboil the bones if they roast it first? And the short answer is yes, but what you find is when you parboil it after you've roasted it, the amount of scum that comes up is much less than if you just straight boil your bones. But what I think I'll do now is a comparison so that you can see this really clearly. I've got two pans. I'm gonna fill them both up with boiling water. And then one, I'm gonna put in beef bones that hasn't been grilled in the oven and then I'm gonna take one from the oven, put it in the other one, and we're gonna do a, a scum comparison. All right, let's grab this piece here. Yeah.
grab this one it's relatively the same size Alright, let's take a look at the results. Straight off the bat, this is the parboard version without roasting the bones first. You can see the colour. It's got this grey, greyish anemic colour. You can see the amount of scum there. And it stinks. Like, you could not possibly use this straight up. Over here we've got the roasted bone version and you can see the clarity of the two, uh, shouldn't call it a broth, you can see the difference between the two. This one's greyish, and this one's still quite clean. And there's hardly any scum in it. So to answer the original question, do you need to parboil your bones if you're gonna roast the bones first? I do, but having seen this comparison, which I've actually never done before, uh, it still doesn't hurt to give it a quick parboil, dump the water, fill it again with some clean water, and away you go. Sẽ dịch lại trong tiếng Việt. Thì đây sẽ là cái video giải thích tại sao các bạn phải nướng cái xương trước khi các bạn luộc để lấy cái 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 nước hầm xương của nó. Thì đây là cái thành quả khi mà bạn bỏ cục xương vào và không có nước, không có liền gì khác Thì nó sẽ ra máu và cái nước sẽ rất là dơ và bị đục Còn cái nước này là nó đã nướng qua rồi thì nó sẽ chín cái cục xương Nó sẽ không có ra máu nữa nhưng mà nó sẽ gọi là có dầu từ cái, cái cục xương nó sẽ nhiều hơn Nó sẽ cái nước nó sẽ ngon hơn Bên tiên Chào bà ngoại